Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix fatal error or low level fatal error with the game on your Windows computer. So the first step is to make sure that your graphic card or your hardware is supported to play the game. So when you go to Steam and just read the minimum system requirement over here, you can see SSD required graphic cards with shader model 6.6 .6 support and OS with DirectX 12 ultimate support is required 12 GB VRAM or above recommended to play 4K resolution. So make sure that your computer supports the game. If your graphic card or your operating system is not supporting DX12, you will receive error and you might not be able to play the game. So make sure that your computer is supported to play the game. Next step is to now for many NVIDIA 16th series card users, putting this D3D12.dll file in this location has worked. It does not work with all the cards. And when you put the DLL file, if it does not work, you can remove it and do it at your own risk. So in Google search, you can just type in this Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, type in this along with Reddit at the end, and then you can go to Reddit website. And over here, you can see this D3D12.dll. This has worked for 16 series cards. So you can try this. Now, the next step is to Try D3, D11 in launch options. So you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option. You can type in dash D3, D11, and then you can launch the game. This has worked for a few players, so it might work for you. But when you launch the game, if you're receiving fatal error, in that case, you can remove this. So if you're receiving fatal error like this, in that case, you can remove everything from the launch option. So remove this and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphic card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. If you have NVIDIA app or GeForce experience, you can use these application to update your graphic card driver. So if you have NVIDIA app, you can open NVIDIA app and then you can go to drivers and then you can update your driver from here. And I'm showing for NVIDIA how to do a clean installation. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next. And then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, you can type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then over here, click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So open the game folder, select this exe file and then click on add. Once the game is added, scroll down and find the game. You can click on this down arrow and then select high performance. And then again, scroll up, go to add desktop app. Once again, open end binaries win 64, select this exe file and then click on add again, scroll down and find the game in the list and then select high performance over here and then you can check now desktop users make sure that you connect the display cable or hdmi cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not to the motherboard slot which has the inbuilt graphic like intel so connect the cable to the dedicated graphic card and then launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so in my case i have updated my windows to version 
24H2. So make sure that your Windows is up to date. So go to Windows settings, go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to move or install the game to faster SSD. So if the game is installed to HDD, you can try to install the game to SSD. So you can go to Steam and then go to Steam over here and then go to settings, go to storage and then you will find the game in the list. Select the game. If you have any external SSD connected or if the game is installed to um, like external hard drive, in that case you can move the game to SSD or C drive. So try to install the game to SSD and then check. This has worked for many players so it might work for you. If that does not work, you can simply reinstall the game. You can, you can uninstall the game and then when you install the game, install the game to SSD and then check. Next step is to make sure that you have enough space on your SSD. So make sure that your drive has enough space. Now the next step is to run Steam as an administrator. Now for this you can close Steam, go to Steam and then click on exit over here. And once Steam is closed, now type in Steam in Windows search box and then make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you click on run as administrator and then launch the game. Next step is to now close MSI Afterburner. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Tuner or any kind of overclocking application running, close it and then launch the game. Next step is to rename or delete the save game files. Now when you rename or delete the save game files, you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. Now if you agree, you can go to File Explorer, go to Documents folder and then open the uh, My Games and over here you will see the game folder. So you can make a right click and then you can rename it. If you want to create a backup, you can create a backup. Just copy this file and paste it to the desktop. Once you have the backup, you can just rename it dot old old and then you can launch the game. You can even delete this folder and then launch, but uh, you will lose all the game progress and then check. Next step is to now AMD users install optional driver that is 25.1.1. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So you can go to Google. In Google, you can type in AMD optional driver 25.1.1 and then go to AMD website. Over here, you can see new game support, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. And then scroll down over here, you can see AMD software 25.1.1. And this is the optional update. So you can install this, you can click on it, and then you can run this exe file, install it. After the installation, restart your computer. And after the system, re restart, launch the game, and then check. Next step is to AMD users try reverting driver to 24.7.1 or 24.8.1. This has also worked for many uh, players, so it might work for you. So you can go to AMD website and then select your graphic card. Um, this is just an example. Uh, you can select your graphic card over here. So go to AMD website and then, sorry, select your graphic card over here. This is just an example and then you can click on submit and scroll down and then you will see uh, previous drivers option over here. So go to previous drivers and if you select your operating system and for many users uh, installing this has worked. If that does not work, you can try this one. So try to roll back graphic driver and then check. Next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder, make a right click on the game exe file, select O open this folder first. Try with this exe file. Open end folder, binaries, win64. Select this exe file, make a right click, select properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, this time you can uh, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then check. 
Now still it's not working. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply. Click on OK and then follow the next step. Next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. This is important. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, and then go to virus and threat protection. Scroll down. At the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it and then Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So open the game folder and then select the game exe file. Click on open again. Click on add an allow app, browse all apps and then open end binaries win64. Select this exe file. Click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel system and security Windows Defender firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall. Change settings. Allow another app, click on browse and then again open the game folder. Select this exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse and then open this n binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on open and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to disconnect all the if you have like any hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it. If you're if you have connected any additional, sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Discon disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to the general tab. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then you can launch the game and then check. Also close, like if you have Discord running, you can go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have GeForce Experience or NVIDIA app running, go to um, the application and then turn off overlay. Go to the settings and turn off in-game overlay. So, or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 Two, four, five, seven, six, and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now, total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM, so 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is three into total RAM. So, total RAM is this much into three that is. 49152 49152 
4915152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update and then update it. Now before you update the system BIOS in case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter the charger is connected to the computer and during the BIOS update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update log into the computer and then launch the game now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage now click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart the computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive any kind of external drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel